good afternoon welcome back to the channel and welcome back to a new video i wasn't actually going to video this car but it did feature a small segment in one of the other videos that we did when we picked up the renault clio and everybody reached out to me and said what's the story rob i want to know more about the z4 can we do a video on it and i thought you know what we will just do one video on this car for those of you guys that was interested and also it does show another side of what i do i've mentioned quite a few times before i do trade quite a few cars between other traders and little cheap cars that i turn around and get gone pretty much the same day or the next day or whatever you you get a gist of what i'm saying so this said for uh, my friend bought it in it had no mot on it he mot'd it just before um obviously the whole country shut down and it sat there ever since and as you can see it has got key damage on it it's been keyed up the whole car but the car is not salvage it's not a recorded car it is quite nice it is the six cylinder 2.2 petrol it sounds lovely and it goes really well as well i drove the car home but it does have a few of the usual little problems where the headlights need spinning up they've gone quite dull and it does have various marks and dinks around it but the worst of it is it has been sat for quite some time and it is very very mucky also the battery is knackered on the car so i am just going to head down to kent auto salvage where they have got a nearly new battery for me that we're going to be putting on it I'm then going to show you another little thing. I'm not going to spoil it now. I'm going to wait till we actually do it with the old battery. What the plan is today is I'm actually going to be trading this car. I'm not going to get the paintwork done on it. It's, I haven't got time for it. We've got too much going on. And I know that I can have a day's money out of this car without actually really doing anything to it. It is coming up towards the end of the day now. So I've just quickly jumped on this. I'm going to whip down, get that battery sorted out, take it for a nice valet, get it all cleaned up. I know that roof will come up beautiful, the last one did. And really, the only reason I'm really cleaning it up is because then I can actually pinpoint all of the imperfections on it and then do a nice walk around and show whoever does turn up to buy it what needs doing, what needs paintwork. And overall, you can see what's really nice on the car and what is a bit rough this door handle does keep sticking when you go to open the car you have to give it a bit of a yank so i'll be doing all little bits like that i'll be having it valeted having a little play with that getting it all nice cleaned in here plugging the computer into it i'll do that on camera as well make sure it's got no fault codes etc etc i've chucked the jump pack on it at the moment and i'm going to leave that on there because I drove all the way home the other day with that jump pack off the car and that battery did not take the slightest bit of charge. So I'm just going to lay that down and leave that in the back, drive around there and get a new battery for it. Let's go and do that. Quickly, sorry, before I do pull away, I have just checked the oil and topped up the water. And I don't, as you know, I don't normally ever get under the bonnet of these cars clean. But you can see this is quite nice, but very, very dusty. So we are going to have under ear clean and see what that comes up like because it's quite grubby all around all the joints and you can see it is just dust. So be, I'm sure that will come up beautiful. So we'll have that done when we get it cleaned as well. I just wanted to show a little bit of a before on it. Just got to the breakers guys, Kent Auto Salvage, you know that's the one I always use. We're just going to run in and grab the battery. The old one out guys. And I've got that one, even though it looks a little bit smaller, it's the same cranking amps, 20 pound. Just make sure it starts it. Sometimes I need a little charge. And that's perfect. We're now gonna go and recycle that one. See, we do this on a lot bigger scale. I have bought this one down, just 1.8 kilos. 1 .8 kilos. No, 18. 18 kilos. I bought this one down just to really show how much you do get back. So many people will go and have a new battery fitted and the company will say, should we expose of your old one? I've even known some of them to charge you to get rid of it. Let's see how much money we just got for that scrap battery. Oh, 
absolutely love taking a little five minutes out of my day just to show little bits like that because they never get old and they're never going to get boring. I've put that on there because I've had to cover up my address. But Kent Auto Salvage, £20 for that battery. And that battery is out of a nearly new car and it starts this car perfect. So I've come down to APM and don't forget guys, you don't have to have a waste carrier's license to get rid of or recycle one battery from your household. If you've got more than one in your car, then you will need a waste carrier's license. But in future, do not let them take your old battery. Say, no, I'd like to keep it. We just got for that battery, £9.36 for one battery. So that new one has just cost us just over £10. So it's just over half the price, which is fantastic. Bear that in mind in future when you are having anything like that changed on your car. And of course, if you are local to me, that was APM Recycling. And that's the one I always use that give the best price locally to me in Kent. have a little bit of a walk around the car now I've brought it down to the place where I always come to take some pictures because I'll probably be advertising this tonight for sale like sending the pictures around to the other traders I know and possibly putting it on the internet that's not a guarantee if I do I will share the link but I'll certainly be putting it on Instagram I've just set up the tripod because I wanted to put the roof down up and down a couple of times just show how fast it is really really cool little car for not a lot of money I was gonna wait till we got back to the yard before we uh, actually started talking numbers on it but basically I bought it off of another trader he purchased it I think I said he MOT'd it he was gonna get the bit of paintwork done and he ended up just it ended up just sitting there due to what was going on in the weld he just left it sat there so we got a badge i need to go and stick on we've got that inside the car it has got these few marks around it but i actually give him 22.50 for it and i thought there's definitely a day's money in that car i'm gonna advertise it or start asking for two and a half grand for it and i think that'll be a nice cheap little car for someone i mean it's you could quite easily use it exactly how it is or you could go and have the bit of paint work done. So you you will get that little bit there blown in, the edge of the front bumper and the edge of that front wing. There is a few other little scratches and marks in it that should all polish out. Like I said, I'm not gonna get involved in doing those. The whole car could do with a real good polish as well. The back bumper there, you can see someone's touched it up. That one's blowing in as well. The whole boot lid is going to need to be painted due to that scratch. And then obviously that whole quarter panel is going to need painting there as well. So a little bit more about the car. It has done 108,000 miles, but we got all the books in there. I will go through them in a minute. I know it has got history with it. When I was driving it home, we got an airbag light come on. And I think that's definitely due to the battery kept. Obviously, it wouldn't take a charge and it was throwing up all the lights. 
Also, when you put the, uh, you got a light bulb out there, and when you put the passenger indicator on, you can see it's flashing fast. We will jump out. I've got a couple of cars coming past, but that will definitely only be a bulb, and it'll either be the front or the back bulb. And it flashes fast, just to let you know that you've got a bulb out. So this one here is flashing, so we know it's not that one. Your side repeater is flashing fine. Oh, and that one is flashing as well. So we've probably got a problem with the flasher relay on the car or one of the bulbs. But I will sort that out. I'm going to go back to the yard and I'm actually going to do it on camera where I'll plug the car in. We've got a couple of little diagnostic machines. I'll plug it in and we'll see what faults we have come up. And obviously I will run home in this car tonight just to test that none of those lights do come back on. Let's head back to the yard. Pop the bonnet and show you. I mean, it's not all shined up. I didn't want any silicones or anything like that put on it. I just wanted, around the shuts all blown out, and I wanted that bit of dust gone. And how much better does that look now? It really does look a lot better. I just said to Chris, I've got a, a bulb out flashing. I said, but I can't see a bulb out. And if you look there on that indicator, you see it's actually got two. It's got one on the end and one in the middle. And when you move around here, the one in the middle is not actually working. So we found that problem. I've just full locked the wheels and there is a little inspection panel in there. I'm gonna to have to have out and get to that bulb in a minute. I've just opened up all the paperwork. It's had two previous owners from new. It's got all the books with it and it's got two keys. And I've opened up the service book. Just get that brown man out of the way because uh, it end up falling over otherwise. And as you can see, it's got loads and loads of history, which is really, really nice. So it's got history right up to 106, 5th of the 8th, 18. And when you go through the MOT history, you can see it's not really done anything for the last couple of years. And between the services, it's only ever really done 5,000 anyway. So yeah, quite a nice little car. I've just got out one of the little diagnostic machines and it won't read the airbag light. So I'll probably have to plug it into one of the others or run it round to a friend. Let me just turn off that. Run it round to a friend and get him to plug it in. But it can only be, obviously where I'm so short, every single car I get in, I always shunt the seat forward. <laughs> Hence the gap at the back. So that light's come on while, sorry, a wasp flew at me there. That light's come on while I've been driving it. So it's only gonna be something silly like either the wires underneath the seat there or it was that battery and it's going to want resetting. Just cut off there so that I could put the roof up. You would have seen, if you could slow down that time lapse a little bit, head back there and have a look how all the green and yellow running out of this roof. I've made a real nice job of it. I've got a little soft brush in there. I'm going to give it a good brush in a minute. Brush it all up, get rid of all these little white lines and it is still a bit damp because I'll put it down straight away and that will look lovely. But it certainly looks a lot nicer now than what it did before we left. A few little jobs there to be getting on with off camera. I'm sure I'll nip all that up in the next sort of half an hour as soon as we're finished. Um, again, probably not the sort of video that we're expecting. We didn't really do any repairs or anything like that. But quite a lot of you said, we want to see a video on that car. We want to know a bit more about what you do do when you're not doing the salvage cars and what cars you turn around and what cars you buy and sell. So that is one of them little cars. I've bought it with a few little problems. I've rectified a lot of the little problems and I'm selling it on with a very, very small profit in it for myself, leaving enough in it for the next man, but it does want that bit of paintwork doing. But I've looked at the price of them. They're going for around 4,000. So that is a cheap little car for the summer. Roof down, down to the coast. Absolutely beautiful. It's got the six cylinder engine in it, which sounds amazing. And the 2.2, I would say, is one of the better ones to have. It sounds lovely. It's very, very smooth. And it's also quite good on fuel as well. So that's the end of that little video on that car. As usual, please let me know what you think by leaving your comments in the comment section. For the little sneak peeks throughout the day, follow us on Instagram, Selvage Rebuilds, and check out the merch. The link is in the description. If you do enjoy the video, please do give us a thumbs up. We really appreciate it. 
and it shows your appreciation. Guys, we've got so much more videos coming up, so stay tuned.